Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article is something that we should all be aware of because we see it and we deal with it very often. So let's take a look. It says masks on. So mask we know is something that covers our face and it says to put it on. We'll see why. If you look at the picture, that's not a very good picture. That's a very scary picture of not clouds, but dust. So let's find out what kind of dust this is talking about. It says the dust found in the air these days is called yellow dust or hwangsa in Korean. So we, we've heard about this in the news. They said, please be careful when you go outside today because there's a lot of yellow dust uh, and, and that's found in the air and it's not very good for us to breathe it in. So let's see where it comes from. It says it comes from the deserts of Mongolia, northern China, and Kazakhstan where dust storms form clouds that contain very small and dry soil particles. So where do they come from? We just thought it comes from China, but it comes from northern China. It comes from Mongolia and the country of Kazakhstan. So what is the yellow dust? It says these come from the desert, right? There's deserts in those parts of the world and these dust storms, dust storm is when uh, the dust is blown by a lot of strong winds and it's carried very far. Uh, so these dust storms form clouds and they, they contain or they have very small and dry soil particles. So particles are like the tiny little bits of something and soil means the dirt or coming from the earth, the ground. So a lot of these dry, small little specks, tiny pieces of dust and dirt and soil, all of this is mixed in to uh, the cloud and that's what's coming over and that's why we call it yellow dust, right? Yellow because of the color of the sand or the soil, uh, the dry particles, the dry things that are being blown by the strong winds. Clouds are carried by the wind and they pass over China, Japan and Korea. So this part of the world, because Korea is in between uh, China and Japan, from these deserts, all this dust blows and it goes past Korea and even through Japan. Yellow dust is most prevalent during spring, which is why people wear masks for protection. So prevalent means it's the most common. That's when it's the most, um, it becomes the biggest problem for us. That's when we can see it the most. That's when we face it the most. So it's usually uh, the worst in the spring around this time. So around uh, March, April, May, that's when we can see the most amount of yellow dust. And this is why many people wear masks like that child in the picture, many different kinds of masks when they go outside because this is the time where there's a lot of uh, dust storms coming in from the part of China, Northern China, Mongolia and Kazakhstan. So now we know exactly where it's coming from and we know what it is that we need to be uh, careful of. So if you look at this uh, girl in the picture, she's wearing one type of mask and She's saying be careful, right? The air is not clean right now because of the yellow dust. So yellow dust comes from the blank of Mongolia, northern China and Kazakhstan. So where does it come from? From the, that's right, it comes from the dry places, the deserts. So deserts is an area where they get very little or no rain. So uh, we see deserts in uh, these countries, in Mongolia, Northern China and Kazakhstan. We don't have deserts in Korea, uh, but they do have a lot of deserts in this part of Asia. So uh, the question B says clouds of yellow dust pass over China, somewhere else and Korea. So where else do these clouds carrying this yellow dust pass through? That's right, it also passes through Japan. So this area of Asia is where it comes down and it sweeps through. The last question, yellow dust is, more, is most prevalent during which season? Uh, so in the winter, if we see yellow dust, we will see it in the snow, but we don't see it in the winter, not in the hot summer, but we see it right now in the springtime. So that's why a lot of people wear their masks and we need to be careful. So let's look at the last part of our article today. Let's choose the correct word to finish the sentence. Dust storms, dust skies or dust flurries form clouds of very small and dry soil particles. So we know flurries are the snow coming down, so that's not it. Uh, dust skies, that doesn't make sense. So what's in it? So these dust storms, they carry a lot of these small and dry pieces, particles, very tiny bits of dry soil and this uh, desert dust. 
So that's what it is. And the second question, clouds are carried by the ocean, carried by the wind, or carried by the heat. Well, we know that the clouds are carried in the sky, so it's not the ocean and it's not necessarily the heat, so it's carried by the wind. So especially in the spring when there's a lot of wind, that's where uh, a lot of dust uh, becomes a problem. The last question, people wear, what do they wear? Do they wear masks, shields, sunglasses? What do they wear for protection? Well, I guess you can wear sunglasses to protect your eyes and the shield would be too big and uncomfortable to carry. So the correct one would be you put it over your face and that would be a mask. So maybe you have a mask. Your mom or dad says, I want you to put this mask on whenever you go outside. And it's because of this dangerous yellow dust. If you breathe it, it'll cause all kinds of problems for inside your body. So it's safer to now put a mask on during the spring, especially when this uh, yellow dust is a bigger problem. So I hope you understand why we need to put these masks on and where this problem comes from and how long it may last. So we know that from this part of Asia, from Mongolia, northern China, and the country of Kazakhstan, those deserts are where we get so much of this yellow dust. So next time you go outside during the springtime, make sure you put on a mask so that you can protect yourself. Well, I hope you learned a lot and keep safe out there. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.